Hey there and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you how you can integrate automate.io with our plugin WP Webhooks Pro. To do so, we will create a WordPress post on one of my websites using Trello by creating a Trello task. And this is a very simple step using automate.io and we can also use different content types. Also, I will cover all the different content types we support in this video. So just skip to the part you want to see and you want to learn and you're good to go. Right in the beginning, it's for all the same. So the beginning would be something you would probably be interested in. And that's how we set up the bot in general or in the first place. And therefore we go to automate.io. That's what I've already done. I signed myself up. We just start by creating a bot. Now we can set a trigger and that is where the magic happens from Trello side. So we go to select trigger. I have already chosen here Trello and I've logged myself in. You have to log in by yourself later on. So in my case, I just click Trello and I go to new card, for example. Then we can search for the board we want. In this case, I have the WP Webhooks Pro board. And from there, you can even define a list. You can normally trigger all of them, uh, but I'm going to trigger the bugs list for now, just for testing. And I can show you this here is the Trello board I'm, I'm having. And there we have the, the category bugs. And this one is the one we are gonna trigger for creating a post. So, so far we are good to go with the Trello site. That's it from here. Now we go to what we really want to do with our website. And that's a very simple step as well. We just click on select action app, scroll a little bit down and we see the webhooks possibility. We just choose the webhooks, select then the post data and after the post data, we are prompted to insert an URL. And this is the webhook URL from WP Webhooks Pro. Now we'll show you how you can access this one in within your WordPress website where you have installed WP Webhooks Pro. So I'm just navigating to it. And from here, we just go to settings and WP Webhooks Pro. From there, you go to receive data and copy the webhook URL. In this case, it's uh, in my case, it's this one. I'm copying it, go back to automate.io and I paste it. So now I can see it here. And for the content type, I would say we start with the form URL encoded. So with the first one, we can support the HTML, JSON, plain text, XML. Raw is not tested for now, so I wouldn't um, suggest this one in this case. All right, we start with form URL encoded. For the data itself, we have to define it now as URL parameters. And therefore, we need a couple of settings we have to define. For this, we first need to go to our website where we have installed WP Webhooks Pro. And as you can see, I currently don't have any webhook actions available, which means I have to activate some. Because we want to create a post, we go to settings, go to the list of received data actions, and choose create post. Save it and head back to receive data. Now you can see here the create post action is available, which allows us to create the post in the end. And when I click on it, we will see three more tabs, accepted arguments, return versus description, and I go to accepted arguments. For now, I will just make it as simple as possible so that it's easy to understand. And therefore, we first need to define the action itself. And the action is always the main word you see when you open the action. So in this case, create post. I copy this one. I go back to automate IO. And in this case, we have to write everything within a single line, which makes it very simple. We just define it here as action equals, and then the action we want to call. In this case, it's create post. So it would look something like this. When you want to add another parameter, you set an end. And now it depends what kind of values you want to parse through. As you can see, you have a lot of values available with a create post function or webhook. And in my case, I just choose the post title. I don't set the post type because the main post type or the default post type is the one for the WordPress blog post. So it's exactly what I want. And that's also what we are going to use. Now I head back to automate.io and I include the post title. And this one equals to something dynamic in this case, because what I want to do is I want to use the title of a card. When I add a new card, I want to use the title as the title of the post so that you can see that you also can parse values 
from Trello, for example, to your WordPress website. Therefore, we go back to Automate.io and click the little plus here at the right and choose what we want. Since car title is car title as well in uh, Automate.io, we just select this and as you can see, it mentions it here. And that's basically it. That's it. From now on, you can create already a post with it, which is a very th simple step. We just go to save now. And now we can also test the webhook. When we turn it on, it will ask us for run the test. When we run the test now, we just go back to Trello and we create our bug, or in this case, our post. I'd say we call it first demo, demo post, and we add the card, and that's it. With adding the card, with clicking the button add card, this webhook should already see that there's a value available. Exactly, he can't find something now, so we try again, and now he should find one. And since it is a trial version, it will ask me for um, making the payment. Yeah, but that's not what's going to happen because the test basically run through. And we can also see this by going to the post. As you can see, currently there are no posts available. But when I refresh now, oh, let's do it through the browser so that you can see it. When I refresh now, you will see that we created the first demo post as a draft. And this happened by just creating the bug inside of our Trello dashboard. That's the way how you can do it. You can set up all the other values that are available inside of WP Webhooks Pro. Now we'll show you how you can create the WordPress post using the content type JSON. To do so, we used the exact same setup we had with the Trello account earlier. And the only difference we do is we just choose for the content type, not from your LN code, but JSON. Now we can include a JSON code inside of the data field. And since most people can't write JSON code out of, the, out of their head, there is a neat tool available, for example, which can create it for you by just defining the key and the name and separating it by an equal. And the new values are separated by a line break. Exactly the same setup as for the from URL and code. We just copy the create post action. We go to object gen and we define the action itself. In this for, in this case, it's equal uh, action equal and create post. As you can see, it creates the chase and output at the right, which is exactly what we want. Now we also add the title as we already defined it earlier. So we just make a break and we go back to WP Webhooks Pro and we copy the post title field. This one is also pasted inside of the object gen separated with an equal. And now we just set some random value we replace later on with a dynamic value, just that we can copy it from here. Now what we're going to do is we copy the JSON, we go back to automate IO and paste it here. As you can see, it, in, it includes the code as we want it in one line, which is perfect. So we don't have any unnecessary line breaks. What we are going to do now is we just remove the test, go to the plus again and add card title. That's it. Now we already have the exact setup we need for creating the post using JSON. This time I will show you how you can set up the exact same structure using XML. Therefore, we just choose as a content type XML. It's available here, as you can see. Uh, we choose it and now we have to include XML inside of the data field. Also, since most of the people can't write XML out of their head, we have a neat audit editor available online. It's this one. I will also link all of them down in the description. And I already prepared something that was in here from the normal demo. Actually, we can do the demo itself. I just refresh and you should see that here's the normal demo of uh, this, web this website, which looks exactly like this. So you have company, employee, blah, blah, blah. So this is the structure and this is how the XML looks like. What we're going to do is we just remove all the unnecessary stuff for now. Uh, we remove all of this. We just leave the first line. And in the second line, we write data and click enter. And that's it. As you can see, it wraps it inside of the text. From here, we can do the same. We use the, the smaller than and include action. Close it and it will also create the, um, the ending parameter or ending tag. And in this one, we include again the webhook action. In this case, create post. We include it in here click enter and set up as well the other type what's needed in this case it's post title 
Now we set the post title in here, we close it and it will create also the ending tag for the post title. Now as always we include a test tag and we just copy now the left side, so the XML itself. Now we head back to automate.io and include this code within the data field. Now everything we have to do is create the dynamic value by just removing the test, going to the plus and include the card title. That's it. Now we'll demonstrate you how you can use our custom text system for creating your post using automate.io with the exact same structure of Trello as before. In this case, I will merge two different content types and this is for the first time the plain text and the plain HTML or the HTML text. We should have both of them available as you can see text HTML and text plain. Both of them can be used exactly the same way. In my way, I just choose plain text to show you that it is possible with just a plain text format to create a post as well. We have a custom text system that you can also read more about within our documentation. The link for this one is also down below in the description. To set up everything properly, we have to set up an add for creating the text itself. And now we can set up the action uh, key as well, or the action itself. This is the action key. We write add action, then for the starting tag, we declare it with dash start and close it with an add. Now we can add the action. In this case, as we always did, create post. We copy it, go back to automate.io, include it, and now we need the closing action tag. In this case, the same structure, we use add, use add, action, dash, and and close the same thing with add again. The cool thing is with this logic, we can use any kind of text in between that gets completely ignored. Some text that is ignored. So you can basically make comments as well with writing everything and it doesn't affect your logic. Now we also want to set up the post title and therefore we just create another add and add another tag for the post title. It is always an add then the argument, dash start for the beginning and dash end for the ending and an at at the end. For now, I take the post title, go back to automate.io, include post title here, mark it with, with dash start and an at at the end. Now I set up the post title. This is what we do dynamically through Trello, which means we take the trigger. And now we close up the whole thing again with the post title and an dash end and the at. That's it. Now we already set up the whole logic using the plain text format, which also works exactly the same with the HTML tag format. And we can now create another post within our WordPress website. As you can see, I already cleared all of the posts, so there are no furthers available. And we go to save, turn it on, run the test. I go back and I include again another post. Uh, we call it here, yeah, fourth, fourth post using plain text. And we add it to cart. And that's it. Now we just have to wait until this um, bot registers the hook itself and sees it and tests it against the currently set up bot. That's it. Now we have set it up and we can head to our WordPress website, reload, and you will see another post with exactly the title we set up through Trello. And all of this happened with just using plain text. Congratulations. Now you learned how to set up automate.io with all the different content types. And I will hope you can use it for your advantages for automating everything you need. And in case you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to our support on our website. Also, the link to our product is down in the description, so just check it out. And also don't forget to check out our free extensions, which are very awesome. And for now, I wish you a lot of fun with it. Enjoy your time and see you soon again.